Okay, stay with me. According to market research media, the virtual online events will grow 14 billion in 2018 to 18 billion in 2023. Now, I want you to think right now, what would that number be? So making a successful online event, it doesn't mean that you turn on the camera, you put it live and you're streaming and that's it. Or you put another thingy and an app and that's it. Wrong. It's not the case. So here are the do's and don'ts on what to do for an online event. Hi, I'm Veronica De Polo, and as an ex-PCO professional conference organizer, and right now as a personal image branding consultant, I help entrepreneurs and new business owners how they can uncover their personal image branding through online events. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do in coronavirus times, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna probably do my entire video like this because she's very hesitant. Do dedicate most of your time to creating the perfect theme for your event. Try to be creative. Think of different ways and how you can incorporate those ideas and what value and make some research. See what other competitors are doing. There's so much information right now online and you Google it or on YouTube or anything that you can get so many, 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 many ideas to have a great idea for your theme for your online event. Also, the other thing that you gotta do is that you gotta find the perfect name for your event because that will attract, obviously, more people. Don't forget to tell the story of your event, how the event is gonna be, the content that you're gonna be creating for that event. Remember what Bill Gates said some time ago, content is king. Content is king. So any online event should have three things that are very important. A hook for an online event, like the beginning to catch the people, you know, grab them and tell them, oh, that's my hook and that's my event. The event has to have a middle section. And of course you gotta wrap it up so the event has a super high, uh, people are motivated when they end the event do get your audience to participate. So how can you do that? How can you engage their like Facebook groups and you can engage through them by email? Right now, a lot of people, I bet you, I gotta start reading their emails. Those people that think that email was dead, they're gonna say, uh-uh, because now either, yes, they can find you on the phone, you'll see a uh, skyrocketing on emails right now, I swear. So make sure in those online events that you create, that you engage them, you have Q and A's, you have polls, you have all this sort of things that you really let them walk in and, and say, not, I mean, not a walk-in, but you know, a virtual walking where they can say, oh, where they can ask questions and you can answer them and you are sharing your know-how through them and they can answer back. Don't use the wrong tech. And with that said, I know there are so many tools out there, but the thing is that when you create in an online event, you gotta know your audience. You gotta know who you're targeting and who your audience is. If you have millennials, you know that you can have an online event that is not that heavy for the phone because they're gonna be watching right here. But if you're, I don't know, your audience is like a Gen X, like me, or like some people that I know, which is probably not me, right, Tinky? And, but you know that they wanna have uh, a tool that is more engaging, that it gives them more value, that they can download information. It depends who your audience is. So be mindful when choosing an online platform to create your online events, what kind of platforms is good for your audience. Don't make your events a one-off event. Make sure that whatever event you're making that is online, you try to repurpose that content over and over. We're in the social media times, so you can repurpose this maybe on a YouTube, on an Instagram, or, or you can send it on an email. There's so many different options and ideas that you can do. You can also create your event as, an, as a podcast or, or in little pieces of podcasts. But the best thing is that you can do is that you can create your online event and turn it into, oh, sorry, honey. 
<laughs> and turn it into an evergreen event, which is wonderful because in the end, when you're making online events, what you want to do is you, right? This is what we all want. And the best thing about having an evergreen online event or a course or a membership, whatever you want to call it, because there's so many different variations of this, is that you get that same online event 365 24 7 so do get sponsors involved as you know any event it doesn't matter when we used to have regular kind of events sponsors were the backbone of our events right now online events is the same thing so you can have sponsors that participate in like different webinars and you can have them in a certain part of the, the backside of your membership so that your sponsors are there. There's so many things that you can do with sponsorships. You can have collaborations. You can even tell them to do like a, like a live session. There's so many things that you can do. So never forget that online events, also you can get sponsors because they can have more money because online events actually are cheaper. So you get sponsors and it's much better. I'm giving too much stuff here, oh my God. <laughs> and last but not least, don't forget about your metrics. The more you analyze your metrics, the more you will know what kind of event you can make, how people are targeted, how can you make your online um, or marketing, how can you do your Facebook ads, your Google ads, if you wanna do them, LinkedIn ads, whatever. You can also check how your sales pages are evolving, if people are opening them or not, people are not opening them. How's your CTA? CTA is call to action. So all those things are very important when creating an event. And this is the magic of online events. Everything is online. We already use it. You just gotta do, you just gotta find a way how to use it. Sorry, honey, I know, we're wrapping up. So, if you haven't subscribed and you like this video, make sure you say yes, I do like it. Subscribe, think he's here for a while, and, <laughs> and thank you for being here. Be sure to be safe, wash your hands, do everything you gotta do, and I see you in the mirror until next Thursday. Big kiss and bye-bye. Ciao.